I'm, 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 I'm great. <laughs> yeah. The giggles. <laughs> I do have the giggles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can see in his face. He lifts his head up and he's like, "That is the spot." <laughs> so Emily, we're gonna have a bit of a, a draw off, a battle. Yes. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll all know that my horses have quite big personalities. And for a while, I've always kind of thought they're almost like cartoon characters. So quite a few weeks back, I came up with the idea of trying to create the horses into my own sort of cartoon characters. However, when I was doing a bit of drawing, I don't know if you guys have ever drawn a horse before, but it's really difficult. Um, so I thought I would invite one of the world's best equine illustrators to come over to the yard, to meet the horses, to draw the horses, as well as giving me a drawing lesson. So the other day, I went and had the day with Emily Cole. Hey! Hiya. Lovely to see you. Do you want to come meet the boys? I absolutely do. Hopefully they're not too dirty. I think some of them might have rolled since <laughs> I've been up here. <laughs> Should we go to Joey first? Oh gosh, I feel like I'm meeting celebrities. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, he's got shavings all over him, <laughs> haven't you, mister? So this is Joey. I got him as a five-year-old. I brought him along to do like show jumping, done a few dressage competitions and things. Um, he sadly had an injury, so at the moment he is on box rest, but hopefully He'll be coming back soon. Oh, We're keeping our fingers crossed. Heart. He's got a very big personality. He wants to be friends with everybody. Oh, he's gorgeous. Yeah, he's a thoroughbred cross warm blood. So, Lovely. Lovely. although I feel like at times he's probably more warm bloody, he loves his food. He's such a pig. He puts on weight so easily. <laughs> so, and then here we have Mickey. I'll probably open it up just because you're a little bit smaller, aren't you, Michael? So his name's Mickey, Hi, but I sometimes Mickey. call him Michael as like. That's his, he's been cheeky sort of name. Oh, look. So as you can see, he's a Cremello, he's got blue eyes. Yeah. Um, he was my first pony that I've had since I was eight. He's um, pretty old now, he's 24. He's got Cushing's, a respiratory problem, oh, skin man. conditions. He's literally got like so many things wrong with him. Um, he's had laminitis in the past because of his Cushing, so his feet oh. aren't great either. So he's just here chilling, a field yeah. buddy to the rest living his celebrity lifestyle. He is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's very licky, his nickname is like Licky Mickey, although Licky Mickey. food is his top priority, so um, yeah, if he's got food, that's There's what, a theme, yeah. there's there a, is theme a theme so far, yeah. Um, he was incredible at Mounted Games, so we used to do a lot of Mounted Games back in the day together when I was younger, Aww. but because he was so like bomb-proof and like just nothing would phase him, he was really good with all the yeah. scary equipment. Yeah. But we were definitely more like slow and steady wins the race. Mickey, we, his little nickname, we used to say that he's taking the mick because that was... <laughs> <laughs> you were quite cheeky at times, weren't you, Michael? Mm-hmm. So but I yeah, deny he loves, it all. I deny he it loves all. like a little beard <laughs> scratch as well because he's got really sensitive skin being a Cremello. He oh. um, scratches on things quite a lot. He also has to have sun cream on his nose in the summer. <laughs> we actually, we never knew what his um, breeding was until I did a DNA test on him a few years oh, back. Oh, cool. And he is... I think he's like standard bred Morgan horse. What was the last one? Can you remember the last one? <laughs> Peruvian Paso, it was a Peruvian oh, Paso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's Mr. Worldwide, but we always call him my Irish boy because he originally came from Ireland, didn't you? Yeah. As you can see now, once he's like, okay, actually, I'm gonna get some scratches here, but they're not just looking at me. He's like, actually, the food can wait. I love uh, the attention. So I've got some treats here to bribe Casper <laughs> out because he is actually like a very nervous and quiet soul. He, um, I don't know what his like past was like, but he's always been like very sensitive. So when we first yeah. got him, he didn't like his face being touched or his ears being touched. And I got him as a seven year old that hadn't really done much. He's now um, coming up to 17, aren't you, mister? Um, but he's got a very cute, like, long tash. He's probably got the most impressive <laughs> moustache out of everyone, haven't you? Um, we always say Casper's personality is a bit like a cat. So um, you don't come up to him, he comes up to you. And once you're part of, like, the Casper club and he loves you, <laughs> the then you're, in the, you're oh. in the Casper club for life. But if you're, like, a new person, he gets a little bit... He's not the most, sort of, affectionate. Yeah, he's like, you're not a member yet. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of nice, though, because when I do have a really cuddly moment with him, I know that I'm one of the very few people that he'll... That's have a cuddly lovely. moment yeah. with so it kind of means more than kind of when Joey comes and gives you a hug because he just wants a <laughs> hug and attention from anyone. Joey will hug everyone. Yeah but again all of my horses do think with their stomach so um, <laughs> having some treats here is 
made him a little bit more sociable. Oh, but he's such a popper. He's so good to like do everything. Like he's jack of all trades, master of none. So there was like never like one discipline that he was absolutely incredible at that we would like win every time. Like we did a lot of show jumping together. He was pretty good at cross country as well, weren't you? Yeah. Dressage was never really his thing or flat work. You found it a bit boring, didn't you? But of course we had to do that to make sure that we could do all the other fun things. So whenever I work work him, I not often put poles out because he finds pole work a little bit more exciting, don't you, fella? So how does one acquire a membership to the Casper Club? Do they have um, to you kind of come just, with treats? Or? Yeah, come with treats and um, kind of let him approach you and <laughs> we'd like to give him a treat. You I, might I, get I some shall. quite Kasper, slobbery we, fingers. Um, Casper, I've look. come to be a member of your club. Look, and he's got a treat. He's like, no. <laughs> You can see he's, he is very much like, you have to be part of the Casper Club. No. No, 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 there's a treat. There's literally a Kasper, treat here. Right here. But, oh. There we go. It's like, mm, you're I'm so still not sure you're allowed you, membership. Yeah. You know, he's, he's very spooky as well, like hacking wise, oh, even though I've had him for ages. He's done so much road work, but like if a tractor or motorbike comes, you can feel him tense up. Like he's very good. Like before he would like, proper like spin away and zoom yeah. off but now he just kind of stands there and like it's okay Gaspin he like trusts me but you can tell that he's like on the inside like bricking it like oh, oh my goodness especially with horses being like such flight animals naturally definitely when you feel them go I'm not sure about this oh hello <laughs> he's coming up <laughs> he's, like, oh. he's warming up <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try and stay in this situation yeah. for you is 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 really special it's like, mm. I haven't got any more treats. <laughs> I'm probably going back to his head. Just so you... <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. <laughs> but no, he's kind of the reason I started my YouTube channel because I got him at such a young age. He had like so little muscle, and we built that up and built his trust and confidence up. And I would just like post little edits of us yeah. riding together so I could document our progress. So mm. I kind of think if I had a proper like push button, been there, done that pony, then I might not be doing what I'm doing now. So really? that's quite crazy. Oh. It was definitely like a very hard, long process to get him yeah, where he is today, yeah, yeah. but it's so worth it. Worth it, yeah, definitely. Good boy. <laughs> You're going to have to compose yourself for a while. I am. I'm not going to start the show I'm great. Yeah. The giggles. I do have the giggles. Even Cass was like, girl, you need to calm down. <laughs> You know, I find something really funny when my eyes start watering. <laughs> and then last but not least, we... <laughs> I thought I did really well then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're not going to be able to make eye contact because I will just laugh straight away. And then last but not least, we have Duke. Um, he is in here. We might need to get him just because he is quite small, so he'll probably sort of oh, run out the stable. But here he is. Um, <laughs> he's about 10 hands tall. He is two years old and he's from World Horse Welfare. So um, we've known him since he was just a yearling. So he's very oh, sweet. He bit. is, yeah, very oh. tiny. He's got such a fluffy forelock and <laughs> mane. He's a little Welshy, we believe, or a little mountain Welsh pony, aren't you? Yes. Um, he, his favourite thing is the scratchies <laughs> on his chin, <laughs> on here as well. And um, because he was bottle fed, so his story is he was abandoned on a Welsh mountainside oh. and um, he was taken in by World Horse Welfare. He needed around the clock care when they first got him. He was probably only a few days old at that point. Oh, little and nobody said that he was their horse, so they took him in and then um, did lots of groundwork with him, he was bottle fed, that kind of thing, and then we rehomed him when he just sort of turned one. So he's very sweet. When we first got him, we had to train him to be in a stable before he'd like not Did really you? done much oh. in a stable. It would stress him out a little bit being sort of trapped or confined in here. So we spent a lot of time in here with you, didn't we? Oh, yes. What a lucky boy. Now it's your happy place because it's where you get lots of food. Yes. Oh. And when I groom him, he tries to like groom me back sometimes, <laughs> which is very sweet. It's very fortunate he was grey as well. To yeah, keep him, like, I know. With a colour scheme. <laughs> I, I haven't done that on purpose. When we were at World Horse Welfare filming, he literally like came up to us and they were like, he's not normally this like friendly with new people. Oh no. <laughs> That's why I said we might need to block the exits. You're gonna go off on one, aren't you, Duke? Um, Let's go on an adventure. He is known for being a little bit cheeky and um, escaping at times. Yes, when he was rubbing his bum against a fence and the fence <laughs> broke. 
So, so he's the escape artist of the group. Yeah, but he's, he's very sweet. Him and Mickey are like best friends. They go oh, out in the field oh, together. Okay. But he, um, I think, at World Wars Welfare with the girls that used to look after him, I think he his favourite thing is having his nose kissed. So I oh. think that was probably the the handlers and volunteers that used to look after him. Hey. Yeah. See, he loves to give people kisses. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, even though he is like another great, I just told myself, he's only small. He he, he, he doesn't take much cleaning because there's not much to clean. <laughs> and he is quite dark at the moment, but he will probably light out as he gets older. Um, so yeah, what he'll do is he'll just like reverse his bum up to you and be like, can you scratch it to you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can see in his face, he lifts his head up and he's like, that is the spot. <laughs> so Emily, was that useful coming and seeing all the horses? It was really useful actually. Um, I'm used to like, uh, just chatting to people generally, but I think when you um, meet them face to face, you start to like really work out their their personalities. Like Casper, oh, Casper with his, he's, yeah, he's warming up to you now. Yeah, he is. No, it was, it was really helpful meeting them, and it's just funny like seeing their little quirks. Like yeah. Duke, where he was like demanding like scratches, scratches, <laughs> and then like um, Mickey like sticking out his tongue, yeah. and he was like, yes, I'm. I'm I'm Michael. <laughs> and then Joey, he keeps poking his head out while we're here. Just, yeah, he just does. to keep he an eye on what we're yeah, up keep, to. Yeah. <laughs> head of the yard kind of wants to know that everything's in order. He always likes to make sure that, that nobody's getting food. Like, he, he has to get the food. Uh, heaven forbid, heaven yes. forbid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll show you our handiwork later. Yeah, we will. <laughs> I like, hope you approve. Yeah, he's and like, give like, me membership to the Casper Club. <laughs> um, he's the boss of the donkeys now. He didn't used to be, it used to be Bruno. But um, he's probably the most scaredy, like if there's something yeah, not quite right, he'll be the first one to run away. But he does love scratchies and attention. His favourite thing is having his ears tickled and like a little head scratchy. He has Aww. a proper like pathetic bottom lip that just hangs out all the time. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people get Bruno and Toby mixed up. So how I like to tell people to remember is Bruno's the brown one. I mean, they're both brown. Yeah, so. but Toby's like almost <laughs> black. He's like a... Okay, okay. I don't really know if donkeys have colours, but I'd say Toby's like a dark bay. Oh, Toby. <laughs> so she um, can't go very fast. She's um, got arthritis oh, yeah. in both her back legs and she's lame. So she's just permanently like that. She has to have medicine oh. every day as painkillers, but she's doing pretty well. Oh, she's she's so very sweet. Like she has the sweetest personality. I didn't realise how small donkeys were. Yeah. Is that like a weird thing to say? Like no, these aren't even miniature donkeys. They're just standard sort of donkeys. So. Standard donkey. But she's very pretty. I love all the like colours in yeah. her. She's yeah, like a, she is. A Palomino paint. A Palomino paint. <laughs> That's how I describe her colour. <laughs> oh man, they're so um, gorgeous. I'm going to spill them all that out again then. I'm so happy seeing all the colours. I, th I thought it might. That's why I bought the whole collection. And then you have a fun game of like restacking all the collection because <laughs> I'm about to spill it all again. Oh my gosh, this is like a barricade. I won't be able to see what you're doing either. I won't be able to look over. So, Emily. We're going to have a bit of a, a draw off, a battle. Yes. Yeah. Um, you've, you've made a bit of a wall here, haven't you? Yeah, but I you, have. You've, what's this drawing thing called? Like a, <laughs> this a, is a drawing board. A drawing board. <laughs> She's got a drawing board. You've got an absolute rainbow of colours, which I've got to say is very satisfying to look at. Um, I'm going to be using a biro because apparently <laughs> I, I'm, you know, there's the Casper Club, there's also the Pen Club, and I'm yeah, yeah. not allowed to use the pens yet. God. The yeah. right to use the pens. It's okay. I am I am an expert at drawing horses. I'm like you, you definitely don't do it for your for your job every single day. So. She's feisty today. Well no. we shall see. We, we shall see. see. Okay, so the horse that we're gonna do a draw off on is Duke. Yeah. Now I probably have the advantage because I see Duke every single day. Yeah. But yeah, you're gonna be better what, at me. What do you but... want Duke to be doing? That's up or to your just creative a por a imagination. Portrait, yeah. yeah. Okay. Are, Are you ready? ready? <laughs> I know. Are you ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> Go. <laughs> in his winter coat when he's really fluffy. He's Are coat. you ready to see this masterpiece? I don't think you're ready to see this masterpiece. Are you I, ready? I'm not ready. There he is. He's eating in like a little buttercup kind of field. Have you put blue in that? No, it's literally just the pen. Ah. And then I used, I used my spit to kind of like... <laughs> 
I realised like, that's what you were doing. I that's couldn't... actually really clever. Oh, thank you. I couldn't, like, colour it in, so I tried to, like... Oh, I started smudging it first, yes. and then I just thought, you know, it needs a bit of water to kind of so smudge it about. genuinely really good. Oh, thank you. Really good. I'm not just saying that. I feel like nice. his proportions probably aren't quite right, but then he's kind of like a stubby little pony anyway. So. I, well, I mean, he's got his favourite things. He's yeah, got he's snacks. got some snacks. I like his eyebrow. Thank his you. eyebrows are lovely. Yeah, I thought it gives him a bit of character. He's definitely got a lot of texture. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, should I come over and see yours? Oh my goodness, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, I juice. love his little, like, you put his little pink bit on his nose. Yeah, his little pink bit. That's so cute. So I think it's probably a bit unfair that I had all the pens yes. <laughs> and you had a biro, which I still think you did a remarkable job oh, with all the same. Oh, thank you. So I'm now part of the pen club. I, I think... Nice. I think you've earned... <laughs> I think you've earned a go with the pens. I think we should maybe do a tutorial yeah. on how to draw a little sitting down duke. That would be very um, cute. I'll give you a little talk through on how to do it. Maybe your followers and your fans can have a go as well once Sounds they've seen good. it. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> so what I'd start with doing is just doing a really light circle. So you have one oval that sits out in front and then we're going to do another oval but you see how it goes in behind. We're going to draw his back feet. Yeah, almost like a pair. You can do the same on the other side here. And then where his uh, the little bamboo, we just do a little sort of a rough zigzag. Looks like two little Easter eggs now. Two little Easter eggs, yeah. <laughs> so I will do a rough circle like that, sort of floating above, and then do another little circle. I'd then do like two little C shapes. In here, we're going to do his eyes, one circle like that, and a round circle like that, and then you can give him some people. So you don't need to worry too much about it being perfect because yeah. we can go over with pen. And then um, obviously we're going to now draw his nose, go from the nostril to halfway across the eyes, and then give him a little smile. A little bit where it starts to get tricky. So we've got like almost a, like an L shape or a really shallow mm -hmm. triangle here. What I do is just at the top of the circle, like you're doing two little horns, and then you can join them. Right, and now we can draw the neck. So that will start um, roughly between the small circle and where it joins the big circle, maybe a little bit out. We can draw his ears, almost like a pointy pear shape again. To make the shape of his face, because he's quite fluffy, you can do that. This is the bit I always enjoy doing, is the forelock and yeah. the mane. You can do whatever shape you like there. He looks like Jedward. <laughs> <laughs> to do his two front legs, sort of start a third down from this first circle that we did. Draw a line and you see where his knees are. About halfway down, you then do a little little bump like that. Almost re start recreating the shape we did for the back legs. I feel like mine's going to look like the Wish.com version. <laughs> And then all you need to do is give him a tail. You can start bringing it in a bit so he's not too round. <laughs> oh, right. Are you ready for your pen? I am ready for my pen. Oh. And now you can outline him. Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your blood runs cold. But don't you sweat your pretty skin? Because it melts away for it sinks in. So here we have Emily's. This is what I was trying to recreate. I feel like I've done like an all right job. Like they do look similar. I just feel like the version I've done is kind of like the Wish version or the Audi version. Like it's just not quite the same. Um, but no, how do you think I've done Emily? I think you've done incredibly well. Oh, Genuinely. thank you. I'm not just being polite. I really like that you actually, you said you wanted to give my brows and I think yeah. I've added like a whole. <laughs> different character to him which is yeah really fun. he does look quite like ha happily surprised that's what i'd say the eyebrows make him look someone's just come with some snacks yeah definitely <laughs> that that's the look that i was going for he does look a little bit hairier and podgier in mine but it, it looks like duke first up emily i just want to say a huge thank you for very kindly coming here today <laughs> teaching me how to actually draw properly or draw in your style. That's been so much fun. And also it's really nice for you to see all the horses yeah. because although we've, we have only done Duke today and you very kindly said that you're yeah. going to draw all of the horses for me. So was it really nice to see all their like personalities? Yeah, I think I, think I can have quite a bit of fun with your gang because they've all got very distinct personalities. Yes. So where we did a nice sitting pose, I think it would be quite fun to see if we can get something that is 
more them. Yes. More, the, more, yeah. <laughs> more their personality. Definitely, and they are quite cheeky as well. So I will see you all once I'm back and um, Emily's finished doing her lovely drawings. <sighs> Now, since I've last seen Emily, she has been very busy drawing all of the horses and something here has just arrived in the post and I believe it's the prints. So I thought I would do a little unboxing for you all. We can look through them together and see what she's created. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've seen the first one. Here is Duke and oh my goodness, I love it. You can kind of see he does like these zoomies first thing in the morning where he just zooms around the field. And I feel like that's kind of what Emily has captured in this. You can see he's very high energy. He's got his legs up in the air. I love his like markings as well. She's done them so well. It looks exactly like him. And he's got his little belly as well, his little hooves and his socks. Oh my goodness. So cute. Okay, I want you to also let me know in the comments which one your favorite is because she has done all of the horses. Okay, so next we have Mickey and of course, of course, I asked her to add his licky tongue. Actually, she might have just done that already because I did say in the video about him being called Licky Mickey. And I also love how she's done him kind of like in a flower field with lots of blue flowers. And of course, I had to tell her like all the horses sort of colors as well. So Duke was yellow and Mickey's got the sort of blue background as well. I thought like a nice darker like navy would be nice too. And then next, I believe we have Casper. And here he is zooming through a meadow. And of course, we had to add our kind of like matchy set. And I feel like lilac or purple is kind of Casper's color. So um, again, we've gone for that. And yeah, look at his little pink nose as well. He has kind of like a freckly nose. Um, you can kind of see it more a little bit more in the summer when he doesn't have his sort of winter mustache. But I just think, yeah, he just looks so cute. I'm so happy with these. These are incredible. Oh my goodness. And then last but not least, we have Joey doing some show jumping, which that's really, really nice. Now he's sort of back in action. So um, when I, she did come and see him, obviously that was back when Joey was on Box Rest. So it was quite a while ago now, but look, there he is. She's even done a nice white tail. I don't think Joey's tail is normally that white, but I really appreciate that she obviously um, thinks normally Joey's that clean. So thank you very much, Emily. These are absolutely incredible, but it doesn't finish there because I think she sent me like a little box of goodies as well. So I'm just gonna grab that. So here are the goodies. She's even wrapped them up as well and put her little stick on. I don't know which one to open first. I'll do, tell you what, I'll do the big one. Cause you know, they always say like good things come in small packages. So I feel like, especially when you become older, I feel like all the really like good presents come in smaller things. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna read the letter first. It says, hello, a few samples for you. Bookmarks and cards ready to go. Notepads arriving soon, but had some samples made early. Hope you like them, M. And then she's drawn a little snail. I love a little snail. Okay, so I've got some cards here. Oh, they're like little birthday cards. And it's got my signature on as well. So we've got the Joey one. Um, it doesn't have anything in here. So you could, you know, it could be a thank you note. It could be a birthday card. It could be a whatever. Um, but yeah, it's just Joey on the back and then it's got my new logo, which is very exciting. So um, there's a Joey card. I won't show you all the cards because they're literally just going to be the exact same as the prints that I've just shown you. And then we also have some bookmarks as well. So um, I was going to say they actually have all the equines on because they're double sided. So um, this side I can show you has got Duke and Mickey. And then the other side has Casper and Joey, which I feel like was kind of the best way around to put them because obviously Duke and Mickey go in a field together and then Casper and Joey are kind of like the ridden horses. And that, well, obviously Mickey used to be ridden, but he's retired now. We have a little um, planner. And as you guys know, I'm quite an organized person. I love planners like this. So we have all the different days of the week. We have notes, we have um, don't forget, we have next week. So I always like having all extra boxes of putting things. Then we have a to-do list as well, because I love a good to-do list. And again, it's got all the different ponies on all together. And I just think it looks so pretty. If we go over here, we have the small present. I think I have an idea of what this could be. Um, but if I open it up, I feel bad like ripping open wrapping paper. Please say I'm not the only person that does this. Like when I open presents, especially like if it's on your birthday and everybody is watching, um, I just like I'm just want to rip it open. But then also I want to be like really polite and delicate opening it too. <gasps> wow! 
Oh, okay, so I believe these are the samples. So these are rough saw cuts of the coasters. Um, hopefully they will be ready for badminton. Um, so yeah, we are going to be um, having these available for sale. I'll leave a little link in the description if you guys want to check them out. Or um, if any of you are at badminton, then hopefully while stocks last, there will be some there. Um, these coasters will be not the rough cuts as you can see they're supposed to be cut where the little red line is and then made all soft around the edges but we have coasters of all the horses um it'll be interesting to see which ones like which horses are picked the most like who gets chosen so because whenever i do meet and greets i sometimes like to ask people like out of all my horses if you had to pick one as your favorite who would it be obviously i don't have a favorite horse gotta love them all the same but That'll be really interesting. So let me know um, which horse drawing is your favorite in the comments. Thank you so much again, Emily, for coming over here, drawing the horses. She's done an absolutely incredible job. Again, if you want to check out any of the bits and bobs, there might be some extra things coming soon. You never know. But yeah, thank you so much everybody for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed drawing along and learning how to kind of draw in Emily's style as well. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.